Okay, so this is a video on how to create a section, sort of like a follow-up video to um, my previous one about creating this housing. Um, but creating a section is very easy um, in Creo. The key is, once you have a drawing, so I'm going to open up a drawing. I'm not going to put any info in it. Once you have a drawing, um, you may want, you may find that once you have a few views in, not a great one here. Doesn't want to let me create one apparently. There we go. So I'll create one here. Uh, I see it's on the other screen. And let's say I have all the views I want. I don't know. Let's say we wanted three on this one. So that one there one there and I say you know what it would be really valuable if this one in the middle had a section on it so it's just me uh, doing this the way that I like to do it I can't help but make this look nicer um, so Say we want a section here so I can show all the interior features because there's all sorts of stuff here. There's a hole on the side, all sorts of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my model. I'm going to pick this view manager, and I'm going to go to the sections tab. Where I normally be on simplified rep. Go to sections, and then I'm going to say new, and then I have a bunch of options. So I could go. The first one we're going to learn is a planar section. So if I pick planar. And then I name my section. So let's say it's my first section. I name it A and hit enter. <clears throat> what it wants is a plane that I want to use to cut it. So I could use this plane. This will work perfectly fine. So I hit the checkbox or I hit the uh, plane. And you can see that's there. It also gives you a number where I can move this if I want to, but I'm going to keep it at zero. And then I hit the checkbox, and now that's section A. I'm going to double click no section, gray section. Okay. Now let's say I do planar, and I go, well, you know what? There's not a plane where I would like one, but I want one going through here. Okay. So here's what we do we go up to model right up here, and we click on plane, and then I can create the plane where I want. So let's say I wanted one that kind of like cut through this oil hole here. So I could pick maybe my center line would be a good one on a round piece. And then I could hold control and I could pick a plane that I want to offset from. So maybe I want to go off this one. And I want to say, you know what, I want it at 90 degrees. The other thing I do is in properties, I'll name it whatever section it's associated with. So if this is section BB, I may name the plane B-B and hit OK. Because then if down the road someone's using my model and they go, what's this plane for? You know, if I go to delete it, it's not going to tell me that it's really going to get rid of it. got to finish my section first. Sorry about that. So I hit my checkbox, getting ahead of myself. And I'm out of my sections. I go, well, you know, maybe I'll delete this thing. Okay. It'll let you know there's a section down there. But, you know, it's good to know that I shouldn't be messing with that anyways. Because a lot of people come into models and just try and clean everything up. All right, so that's another way. I can create a plane. It'll automatically use that plane. Then I can show things like an oil groove hole. Now, let's say I want an offset section. So I go new, offset. This one is, let's say, C. And then that's just like creating a sketch. So I'm creating my arrow sketch. So I'm going to go sketch, define. I want to draw on this plane. I'm going to use, yeah, sure, that works. And then the key here is I want to make some references. So let's say I wanted to come down here, come over, and then go through this hole. Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my references. I'm going to say I want to go through that hole. I want to go through that hole. I want to go below here. I want to go above here. Then I hit close. Take my line. I'm going to line right up with this. So you know what? I need one more reference. I need one here. Take my line and we come right down until I go past the hole. Click, then over, and I may not line up with the hole right now. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go over and we go down until I'm off the part like that. So that's to extend past the part. That's one thing I like to do. Um, and then what I can do is I can say, okay, well, this point here is coincident with that line. Okay, then other than that, you're really just putting in numbers to make sure the line stays where you want it to be. So let's say 4.75, this one goes up 1.5. You know what, maybe I don't want, maybe I want it to go a little bit lower so it doesn't go off the part like that. And then this one, I don't know, we'll make it 1.65 so it extends off. Then I hit the checkbox, there's my section. And I can flip the side here, depending on what I'm trying to look at. And I hit my checkbox. And now that's a section. And I can rotate through all these so that I can see the different sections for me. Once I have these sections, I can hit save, go back to my drawing. And now to show a section in here, very simple. I'll just show you with one. I'm going to turn all my planes off, double click on my view. Or I could have went click properties, same thing. Then we're going to go to the sections tab, 2D cross section, plus sign A. And then I have a couple options. I can put my arrow in here. So I can pick this and pick a, pick a view. Or I can hit OK. There's my section. And I can pick my view, hold right click, add arrows. And I say, OK, I'm going to show my arrows over here on my primary. All right, then you just got to move some stuff around. So like, for example, what I like to do with the section text is I switch it to center because then it puts in the center of the view, drag it down. I can also change my hatching. So I can hover over the hatching. I can click it with my left mouse button, then hold right click with my right mouse button and go to properties. I can change th things like spacing. So oh, half, half, double, double. I can even get a value. So right now it's 0.87. Maybe I go, okay, maybe I want 0.625. Okay, maybe I want 0.5. I can change my angle. 0, 30, 45, 60. I can even go through and change to a value. So I can say I want 136 degrees for whatever reason. All right, I can also change my hatch patterns. I can change all sorts of different things. Okay, and at the end, I just say done. All right, and there's my section. All right, so creating a section is pretty simple. The key to remember is that you want to create it in the model. I can create it in the view, all right, um, but the model certainly gives you more um, understanding of what you're doing because you can rotate it around, look at different stuff. Okay.